do 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 Thyroid Hormone Mechanism of Action, a model project by Abby Kerr. Before we look at the thyroid hormone mechanism of action, we must look at the thyroid. This endocrine gland is located in the neck behind the thyroid cartilage. It is shaped like a butterfly. At a closer look, the thyroid contains rings of follicular cells which is where thyroid hormones are made. They are stored in the colloid. Thyroid hormones are regulated by the hypothalamus to the anterior pituitary to the thyroid, and this is done by negative feedback. T4 is known as thyroxine. This thyroid hormone contains four iodine ions. T3 is known as triiodothyronine. This thyroid hormone has only three iodine ions. Both T3 and T4 are held together by nonpolar covalent bonds. Iodine ions are important because they are essential in the making of thyroid hormone. Our body can obtains these ions from the foods we eat in our diet. Thyroid hormones are hydrophobic. This means that they are water-fearing. They are also lipid-soluble, which means that they can cross over the cell membrane. Steroid hormones are also this way. When thyroid hormones transfer from the thyroid to target tissues, they are transported by carrier proteins. Once at the cell, thyroid hormones can easily cross the cell membrane. During this process, T4 converts to T3. Once inside the cell, the thyroid hormones can either go to the nucleus or to the mitochondria. The nucleus is the control center of a cell. Inside are DNA. This is where genes are found. When thyroid hormone enters the nucleus, it binds to an intracellular receptor. This complex then binds to the hormone response elements on DNA. This causes transcription. RNA then goes out of the nucleus to the ribosomes where translation takes place. Enzymes involved in glycolysis and ATP production are made and sent to perform their functions. The mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. When a thyroid hormone comes, the thyroid hormone binds to an intracellular receptor that is on the mitochondria. This causes it to make more ATP. In the cytoplasm, enzymes that were made by the thyroid hormones in the nucleus increase the rate of glycolysis, thus furthering more production of energy. Thyroid hormone effects. Thyroid hormone has a big effect on the metabolic rate in our bodies. Indeed, it increases the metabolism that we have, meaning that it speeds it up. This hormone also increases the production of sodium-potassium ATPase, or the sodium-potassium pump. With this, more potassium ions are pumped into the cells, while sodium ions are pumped out. This uses a lot of energy. Thyroid hormone also causes an effect known as the calorigenic effect. Because of all the ATP made by the mitochondria and glycolysis, the cells in our body consume more energy. This generates a plethora of heat. This phenomenon is what keeps children warm when it gets cold outside. Thyroid hormone mechanism of action plays a vital role in our lives. Without it, we could not survive because every organ is dependent upon it to keep metabolism normal. So take your time to thank your thyroid, and thank your thyroid hormones as well. The end.